Yep. Empty, empty, empty. Gotta be filled back up. And the girls won't in it, but they can't get in it. No. Hey y'all. Welcome to Life on Helton Creek today. My name's Darcy. Um, the footage today is a plethora of all sorts. Ready. Now, did y'all know that unicorns eat hay? Did you? There's our unicorn. And he is digging some, some hay. And 17's finally gonna eat on that. Look, hi Kurt, hi Chili. Whoops, I don't even know his name. We're expecting Snowmageddon again. What'd they say, Kent, six to eight inches? Yeah. Now we might get a dust in, who knows, but. And we'll probably scrape out our sides over here. And uh, I don't know what all we'll do. We might have to knit them all a blanket. They're so rotten spoiled. There's the latest love story right there. Instead of Lady and the Tramp, it's Curly and Panda. And they started out at that end, and she moved, and he moved, and she moved, and he moved. And she's at the end, and he's right there with her. He's a pretty romantic boy, Pa. Yeah. Aww. Ready? From zero to 40. Okay, this is our first clean since we put the tire cylinders in for the uh, for the base of the floor. It's coming up pretty smooth. I've gotten a scoop or two. I think I'm going to change my plan and uh, scoop it out here. I think I'm going to pile it out there. I got some uh, concrete bin blocks that uh, I'll build me a little semicircular pin to keep this stuff in. That way I can push up against it, get it cleaned up, and we'll get ready to, to spread it on the fields. Grab a hammer. 
here we go. Parts get me some PB blaster to see if I can get that rear blade to spin a little bit. But here we go so far. So it's looking pretty doggone good. It's holding up nice. You kind of see the tires down in there. We'll get the rest of this scraped and and we'll uh, bring us more corn stalks in here. I like the layer of corn stalks. I think that adds a little, a little separation from the from the rock. And there's I'm catching a little bit of crusher run, but not much. Definitely need to finish it out over there. So this is what we cleaned out of the feed shed. 
90% of the green, 90% of the green material in here are the stalks. So it made it a lot easier to scoop. Now there is a little bit of hay, and that's because the girls drag it out. Um, but that's okay. It don't hurt a thing. That's a big old pile of poop. What I want to do, and we'll see who wins, but what I want to do is flatten it out just a little bit and put a silage tarp over it in the hot, hot summer, try to compost it, and then maybe work it into my garden um, in the fall. I think it would really be, I think it'd be super beneficial to my garden. Uh, so we're going to see, but you have to really compost cow poop because cow poop grows beautiful pigweed and we don't want that. So we got it all cleaned out. The tires and the pressure run have worked amazingly. It makes it so much easier to keep it cleaned out. This took an hour, maybe. Look, these are the corn stalks that we rolled. Uh, on a couple of videos ago, we rolled them for bedding and and use them here. And y'all, it makes it so much easier. So they don't sink up or mar up or disappear because we have the we have the tires and they're filled with pressure run. And then we put this on the top and scatter it, and then we just scoop it out. I'm so looking forward to the compost that this makes. Uh, we're probably going to spread some around the farm, but I'm going to keep some for my garden. y'all you can see where we have piled the corn stalks up right here and we piled some up there because we don't have the tires and crusher run that's the part we don't have done yet so we piled it up pretty thick there uh, in hopes that with the rain coming and the snow coming that'll help some and in case you can't see them all lining up at the gate I want you to look and see who's first in line. Look at there. He's first in line. He's learning the routine finally. We're gonna put a couple of uh, rolls of corn stalks out in the lot over here for them to bed down on in Snowmageddon.
Well, that's good right there. precipitation has begun already so I'm glad we got the bedding down and I'm glad we got the calf feeder filled up and all that they're laid all the way down where the corn stalks are. And Pa's got strawberries spoiled. On this side, we have Miss Dot and Heidi. Everybody laying down, relaxing. Your big old tongue. Good miss. Now this is what I'm telling you about being spoiled rot. 